Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Uber Chain quickly. You know what I mean? Thumbnail, so it's like thumbnail. every few months there's a major patch that updates something massive and eventually they I don't know. Eventually they rebrand it as Overwatch 2. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Yo, that's a beautiful map. I just played the I just played Overwatch with this guy. He fucking threw all my games. I'm not calling Matt. I'm not fucking calling him when he's doing this live developer stream. Push. I hope they show push. Yeah, I think they will. I really want to see how push works and what the map looks like. I think they will. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 It's happening. Ten. Oh Ten. fuck. It's happening. Five v five. It's happening. One tank. It's happening. Oh, the the pro players are scrambling. The oh. pro players are scrambling. UI is looking clean. Yeah, is this a is, the, is this a newer UI? <laughs> So my okay. chat says, Mr. X looks permanently confused. <laughs> uh, Alright, chat, I'll just say this. All of you saying, I'm never going to play off tank again. This is going to hurt the game in some way or form. The, get, the, the balance of the game is, is, is literally being flipped on its head. Okay, which heroes are disabled? Because that's going to tell you which ones they're going to massively reworking. I think that when Overwatch 2 comes out, people are going to get the same vibe that they got from Overwatch 1. You remember when Overwatch 1 released and Genji had like a fucking 10 second Dragon Blade and had yeah. like four jumps because he could reset it by wall climbing yeah. and he had the super jump and shit and like all of the all of the the overpowered nature was it 12 second dragon blade like the, the game was broken when it released but people are gonna have to figure it out all but, over again and i think it's gonna people people were bad then people aren't bad now people are gonna be able to figure out broken shit way earlier you think so yes even when it's even when they've changed it down to now 5v5 it does it will yes. change the flow of the game uh, only only a small amount compared to like the very beginning of the game dude the game is gonna let's say it's a bit weird. more tactical with 5v5 I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. I mean, when they're playing Ryan and Winston, right? They must have predetermined these comps for what to play. Yeah, they must have play. predetermined the comps. Because they're probably still working out how the other tanks are going to work. But Yeah, I mean, you can't think about these comps as well, some, okay, Overwatch so, 1 balance. Some of people's biggest criticisms, I think, with Overwatch was, like, how little individual impact you can... It feels like you have, I think, as well. And it does put a lot more emphasis on your ability as a player when it's 5v5. Oh yeah, two fire strikes. Yeah, he's still got two fire strike. He's still got the wiggly charge. The thing is, though, I don't understand this map, so I can't tell how five v five has actually affected it because I don't even understand like where the attackers are going or what the fuck they're doing. You know, like I don't know which routes are actually effective routes. Yeah, but it's oh obviously going to be much more open though to be able to get through choke points. The game should be more dynamic. Hey, Winston's got scatter arrow. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's just a placeholder. It is. Yeah, um, I don't know what I it is. I think that scatter arrow is like... Oh, uh, it's like a little... Is that the Tesla thing that he's doing? He's like shooting like a little Tesla thing? Well, he always has a Tesla cannon, Brian. Yeah, but no, but he's shooting like a little lightning ball or something, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's, yeah, something like that. At the beginning, it's going to feel like like you've got a teammate missing all the time. Yeah. I, I also do... Oh, what the heck? Is that a That a is man actually in a amazing. Car? I love that it's... A, is that a man in a car? Are you stupid? That's a fire engine. There's a man in the car, Josh. Yeah, there's a man in the car. There's a man in a lot of the payloads. There's Look, a man in Hollywood. He's just inside he the limousine. I, this is the slowest fire truck I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> They've died. They have burned <laughs> to death, whoever was involved in that fire. DPS is going to be so powerful in yeah. 5v5. Yeah, it will. Like, I mean, so the, unbelievably powerful. They're going to have to make a lot of changes, I think. A lot of changes. One of the reasons why they probably moved to 5v5 that they're not talking about, if I was to speculate, would probably be... I want to go in for the rest. Would probably be how long the queue times are. Yes, definitely. This will 100% help queue times. And 100%. They, they've got the data on how that affects like player attention and shit with queue times. But like, I was I was queuing with Nuni today, and we were both playing DPS, and the queue time was like nine minutes. A, a diamond. Yeah. It's like which, by the way, be that's, naive that's to when say the game that, has that's when the game has millions of monthly active users. Yeah, it would be not, like, na naive to say it doesn't thing? affect 10 it. million. I think it was it, just it affects it massively. Yeah, I I don't know how many players that they've got, but. It definitely is going to be affecting, like, the player Whoa, attention This rates. map is so beautiful. 
Bro, they're not, Chad, they're not removing off tanks. They're just kind of, they're trying to, so I, it seems like they're turning. Oh, no, they are. They're removing the role of off tank. Yeah, they're removing off, but the tanks are not being removed from the game. No, but they're being changed. But the here's, tanks as they are but here's what they're planning on doing. Because the with Winston and Ryan, massively. they've added more offensive capabilities by giving them two fire strikes, or giving Winston like the long range damage dealing thing. And it seems like that the more protective tanks, they're adding a bit of like, it, it, what they said during the stream is that they're adding a bit of hybrid, uh, like a, a bit of hybridization to it, where they're, they're giving them yeah. some offensive ability. And what I imagine they're going to do with some of the off tanks is probably add some sort of protective element to them. Yeah, they, they've got to. I mean, they've got to make gonna, the, Yeah, it's going to be homogenized. They've got to make Zarya and Diva much more, not just tanky, but able to accomplish more. Yeah. Look how tanky that Ryan is. That Ryan just went for a shatter and then was just fighting in the middle of yeah, them. I mean, he's got, and both of his healers were keeping him up forever. He has a lot of armor. It's like 550 health, a ton of it is armor. But I think they've also probably, like, what was the passive for tanks again? Steadfast, I think. I can't remember what the... I can't remember what well, the... Oh, yeah, um, because there's a roll abilities were. as well, right? Yeah. I think the roll abilities probably help keep them alive. Yeah. And, like, all supports have built-in regen as well. Because people, I think people are worried as well about the... They're worried about, with DPS being so strong, they're worried about it being pretty bad for supports, because normally you have, like, an off-tank to peel for you. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully they balance it in a way... Oh, my God. Hopefully they balance it in a I way I think where... DPS is going to be way better, though. At the pro yes, level. Yeah, you mean, like, in terms of the, the impact and power that they have on yeah. a, in a game? Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Dude, Frosty Feet is fucking farming i don't know who frosty <laughs> feet is but they are tracking like a madman yeah it's pretty good tracking oh the quirky turtle just got a scatter arrow kill you know the like tesla <laughs> range kill oh, oh they put the, the jeff give they put less the, ult charge they put the jeff coffee cup in what is the jeff coffee cup well, i think when there was that picture of G jeff when he went to the starbucks on the blizzard campus and they spelt his name oh. like that Oh, so they've made a coffee cup with Jeff and they've made coffee yeah, Jeff's uh, pizza place uh, or Jeff's, whatever as Jeff's well. Jeff's whatever that it is. Called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's a nice that's little cool. homage to, to Jeffrey. Yeah. Homage. 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 <laughs> homage. Uh, Hyperbole. Hyperbole. Whoa, that, that, that uh, whiskey is called the McCree. Whoa. Sell it. What, what, uh, what's the significance of that? Oh, sorry. Overwatch yeah. League opens up to liquor. Overwatch League opens up to liquor sponsorships. They unveil a whiskey called the McCree. Coincidence? Well, they're, they're talking about Zarya. Shut up. What? How many bubbles? Two bubbles? Oh, they're shared cooldowns. It's the experimental patch. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. This is going to take so long to figure out the balance of this game. Yeah, but yeah. I think it could be so good. It's going to be fun because it's going to feel like Overwatch 1. <laughs> People aren't going to know what's good. This shit's going to be overpowered, you know? P look, look here. Here's the thing, Brand. People are going to be stuck in the past. Sometimes you just got to move on. You got to grow. And I think this is growth. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a fan of it. I'm, I'm a big yeah. fan of it. They, they have so much damage in this comp, by the way. Farah, Echo, Zarya... And they're running it with the, with the Mercy damage boost. <laughs> they're just rolling over them. Oh, yeah. The Ryan can cancel charge now. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you can cancel Fire Strike as well if you, if you hold up your shield. I think I saw them do it. They oh. do seem like they've increased the skill ceiling on the tanks. Yeah. I mean, it's more important that you're... In the, you're I mean, it's more individual impact, I think, as a tank player when there's only one role for it, right? You have a really important role as a tank player now. I mean, you always did, but at the same time, it's it's so much responsibility on your shoulders if you if you are a tank player. Also, I think people are being so upset about this. Like literally, like most of the people I talk to or see, they're just like, "Oh, this is so bad." They're probably it would make so much sense if they added six v six in the arcade mode. So if you really wanted to, you could just play classic. Yeah, oh, I'm sure they will. But that's not why people are angry. People are angry because. Ranked is going to be that, because Overwatch League is going to be that, because it's going to kill the concept of the off-tank. I think it's going to make for a better eSport, because, like, the teams will be so stacked, and, like, individual plays will matter so much more to whereas before. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, like... Like, the best, the best right. analogy I have is, like, FIFA Street. Like, you take four of the best football players in the world and put them on one team. 
that's so much more lit than 11 <laughs> fucking soccer players. And you're like, well, who's actually making a difference in 11 versus 11? If you just reduce the team size, each player yeah. is so much more impactful. Also, and you'll get bigger tank, stars because of it. Off-tank was the most inscrutable role. It always has been. It's always much more difficult to tell who are great off-tank players compared to great supports, uh -huh. great main tanks, great DPS. My take overall, chat, and people watching on YouTube, because I'm assuming this is going to get edited into the back end. I think it's going to suck in the long term for off tank players, because inevitably it will mean that we're probably going to see some tank players getting shafted and, and going to be losing their jobs in some capacity. It shakes up the game tremendously for Overwatch 2, and there was a big risk that when the game launched that it wasn't there wasn't going to be enough changes. If you can hear Apex playing in the background, that's because we're playing it. Me and Jaws are playing Apex at the moment, and um, we both died, and we're just watching a random try and win. Um, I think there's been a lot of reactions, both negative and positive. A lot of a lot of positive reactions, I think, from people who work on the Overwatch League from like talent perspective um, and other stuff, because we want it to succeed because our livelihoods depend on it. There's going to be some inherent bias there, and there's a lot of negativity because it's the cool thing to hate on Overwatch and Blizzard in general at the moment. Um, and I think those things tie into it. And once you see the bigger picture, you can kind of read the trends and kind of why people are saying a certain thing one way or the other but overall none of us actually know until we get our hands onto the game of what it's going to feel like and play like and whether it's going to be better for the game or worse for the game we don't know we just do not know and anyone who tries to tell you that they have the right answer is fucking lying so there you go that's my takeaway from uh, from the stream thanks for watching if you're watching on youtube bye but um, stay on my stream because i'm still playing